Hello everyone, this is James again, and I just wanted to share with you a quick dream that I had received this past week as well. And it all started when I was watching a video uh, from a YouTube channel called Seek and Ye Shall Find. Her name is TB Shores, and she did two videos about uh, this particular topic. Uh, but before I go into what actually happened in the dream i'm just going to share with you some other dreams that i've actually had concerning this very topic and um, i'm just going to begin with this one this is one of the very first ones that i had and in this dream i was looking up at the sky and i was in a neighborhood and i was looking up at the sky and i saw the sun and then i saw the moon and then when I looked again, I saw these other planets um, next to them as well. It was really strange. I was like, what are those planets? Like, they were moons, and and it looked like small planets. And I was, in the dream, I was like, what is that? And then, all of a sudden, I hear trumpets. And then, it was like it got darker. And then... All of a sudden, um, there were people in the neighborhood running around in chaos, screaming. And then I knew that at that moment, it was time for the ministry uh, to begin. The ministry of God's chosen people to begin. Um, and that was very astonishing to me. Um, and I then I didn't really see too much about that again. But then um, as the years went by, I kept seeing certain things about, you know, the the space and the kinds of things that were going on up there and um i had another dream and in this dream um i was just laying in bed and i was looking out the window and then i went into a vision where a piece of the sky broke off and when the piece of the sky fell down what i saw behind the quote unquote sky was quite astonishing the colors that I saw were quite astonishing. The planets and all sorts of stuff that was up there was quite astonishing. And I believe the Lord Jesus Christ was just trying to show me that the sky that we see is not quite accurate. Uh, there's some things going on up there that they're not wanting us to know about. They're not, they don't want us to know about it. And by the time we, you know, people do find out about it, it's going to be too late. It's going to be, it's going to come upon them like a, a pregnant woman in travail. So, that was very interesting. And then my wife also, she also had a dream about uh, planets in the sky. And she knew it had to do with Nibiru. And I believe these other dreams that I had as well also has to do with Nibiru. Uh, which um, they call they call it a binary system. Meaning it's like its own solar system with all its uh, with moons and planets and stuff. And uh, just as I was just um, thinking about that, I had a dream also where I looked out through the blinds of a window and I said whoa whoa and then what I what I had saw in the sky it was a it was like its own solar system it was like all these planets with moons it was like a family of planets and moons and stuff and it, it was like whoa whoa like what is that and you know in the book of revelation it, it talks about the first woe and the second woe so um those that's it's quite astonishing well um I had was watching a TV Shore's uh, video, um, Seeking You Shall Find um, YouTube channel's video, and I, I was very interested in it, and it really did speak to me because of the things that were going on in, uh, you know, in my life, you know, at the time, because, you know, we never really know, we don't know the day and the hour, but we will know when it's near even at the door, and we know it's near even at the door, and so I, as I, after I watched it, I said, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, what do you want me to know about this, what she's saying? Like, what is it that you want to tell me concerning, you know, more concerning what she was speaking about? And so I had had a uh, dream that very uh, night. And let me just explain to you. I did do a rendition of it. Uh, so um, I will, it, you're going to see it up there. But uh, she had drew a picture inside of her journal where she writes her dreams and, you know, the words from from our Lord Jesus Christ and in my dream I actually saw her drawing in the dream um, and so I'm going to tell you what actually 
what's happening in the dream. And then I'll just read you some scriptures that go along with it. Um, so in the dream, what I saw was, let me just open it up here so I can see it. What I saw was, I saw the, the two suns uh, that she drew in her drawing with the moons. And they were up in the sky. And then I saw four men. And I knew these four men had to do with the four winds. And then I saw a man and a woman. And they were both getting married to the Lord Jesus Christ. So the woman was getting married to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the man was also getting married to the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, essentially that's what I saw. And then I woke up and I was like, whoa, what, what was that about? I was like, a part of her her drawing was in my dream and I thought that was so amazing I was like oh Lord Jesus Christ like you are so amazing and so as I was I was like Lord like what does this mean why did I see that the the man and the woman they were each getting married to you and then I heard the marriage of the lamb so I knew as I was speaking to the Lord Jesus Christ out loud I knew the Holy Spirit mentioned the marriage of the lamb so I knew that the marriage of the lamb had to do with the four corners of the earth the angels standing on the four corners of the earth i knew it had to do with the signs and the sun moon and stars as well as other types of anomalies that you wouldn't regularly see and the 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 bride and we know that the bride of christ it does consist of men and women the body of christ the bride of christ and so let me just read uh these scriptures uh to you and I'm going to start with the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 7. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Also, the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1 to 4, which has to do with the sealing of the 144,000. After these things, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed. 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Also in the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 6 to 9, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters, and as the sound of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah! For the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright. For the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Then he said to me, Right blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true sayings of God. And so, uh, those are the scriptures. I also wanted to point out uh, another YouTube channel. I'm going to put it in the description box. Um, I don't have it up right now, but just look in the description box. And this channel is dedicated solely to uh, the Nibiru and this binary star system. And it's quite shocking. I had just recently found this, like, two days after I had this dream. I was just on YouTube, and I saw one, a video, and it... And it the title and I was like oh what is this about so I watched it and I was completely shocked at what I saw all the footage and photographs that people are taking from other parts of the world catching what is actually up in the sky it's up there it's up there right now and but one day um, everyone's gonna see it but it's up there and if you watch these videos it's gonna be quite shocking to you so just be advised at, at, at that um, I've watched a lot of the videos on that channel and regarding like the planets and the stuff that's happening up there, I completely agree with what this man is um, talking about, this brother in Christ is talking about. Um, so, uh, the spirit and the bride says, come, come Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I hope this has blessed you and um, if God has given you any uh, revelations on what I found out uh, more, um, please, um, please feel free to uh, write a comment. <laughs> May God bless you. May Jesus Christ bless you. May the Holy Spirit bless you. Amen.